pretty much every man for himself out here, if you will. <laughs> My name is Derek Parrish, um, Navajo. I reside out here in Sonoste, New Mexico. Cutting uh, the Zoni Nishlin, and well, to the nearest grocery store from this place, it's it's about a good hour and a half drive into Farmington, and it's gotten really tough. You know, going against the weather and everything, the road conditions out here get real bad. As you can see, the terrain is nothing but dirt roads and everything it really takes a toll if you're pushing around in a wheelchair. 2017 uh, University of Illinois wheelchair basketball camp has been has been a blast for me. You know, I'm taking on the the coaching clinic and everything, and there's a lot of stuff that I learned. The coach's point of view of the game has been interesting for me, and working alongside with the, the actual student athletes here at Illinois, the wheelchair basketball team, pretty good. I like it. Well, the, the environment here is, I like the, the, you know, the campus is pretty big, a lot of friendly people coming from a small town. It's, 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 there, it's more culture shocking to me when I got here. It's way different than back home on the, the res and stuff. If I was able to um, complete my education and become a gym, gym teacher and, you know, conduct all that stuff out of this, this area, I would really love it, you know. It, It'd be nice to be able to spread the word and help out other disabled um, youth. Stephanie and Butchie, they, um, they've been real good um, teachers through this whole you know, coaching process and you know, the camp and everything. You got um, a bunch of kids with different disabilities, and so you got to take that into consideration. Have patience, having a practice plan, and utilizing that time real carefully throughout practice. That's a big key, you know, because a lot of the times, like out where we come from, there people live so far away from each other, and if you're in it to win it, you got to really take care of that time on the court. A lot of it is just getting out there and have fun. That's what I see behind the whole thing. There's really not a lot out there on the Navajo reservation that I, that I know of. I would like to see one visual I heard Noah, Noah Hodgkins talk about with the uh, tribal adapters, you know, getting an all Native American team off the res, different reses, you pull them together and get into D3 tournaments and I'd like to see the tribes get more involved, you know, with funding or something, make it all possible, equipment, that don't come around easy. The schooling part of it too, I'd like to see more and more um, student athletes come off the res, you know, with disabilities, that'd be good. I'd like to give a big shout out to Billy Mills for making this all possible. He's helped us out in the past. It was fun and I'm glad I got to experience it again this time down at the University of Illinois, you know, really impacted my life, you know, it opened up opportunities for me and I really appreciate it. Just want to be successful and be able to <clears throat> help out other people in, in situations like, like such, you know, yeah.